Yo, what is going on you guys? This is Ryan back in the Mad 16 Ultimate Team video and today we got some new packs in the game The throw up the X Factor packs and also we have new legends in the game We'll get to the packs here in a moment But let's go ahead and take a look at the new legend set in the game Which is Andre Reed nine collectibles which means there's gonna be four Legend badges and four collectibles you need from packs also one from the solo challenge and the most expensive one 1994 is going for 120k so let's go ahead and take a look at him on the auction block so here we have Andre Reed, 93 overall, 1994, Buffalo Bills, 6 foot 2, 92 speed, 95 catching, 96 spectacular catch, 94 jumping, 93 catch in traffic, and 92 route running. Pretty good receiver right there. Is he worth 500k? Probably not. Here's Curtis Martin, 900k. This is the card you pull from PAX, 94 overall, the 2001 edition New York Jets of Curtis Martin, 92 speed, 96 carrying, 95 juke move, 86 trucking, 94 elusiveness, and 95 acceleration. Also, elite badges, since the packs do guarantee you an elite badge, X-Factor packs, elite badges are currently going for 25k. So let's go ahead and jump on into this pack opening, gonna go ahead and reset, go back to live mode, and here we go, guys. So we got some X-Factor packs in the game, Des Bryant throwing up the X, what in the world are these? Contains a guaranteed elite badge, 12 gold or better players, and 3 silver or better players. The bundle is a 3 X-Factor pack bundle, which does guarantee you 3 legendary items in the topper. Without further ado, let's go ahead and pull one of these bad boys, see what we can get. Of course, we are going to be guaranteed 1 elite badge. So, right away we get a Ryan Shazier, Run Stuff, Chemistry, Joe Flacco. There's our guaranteed elite badge. We got Cedric Ogbui, Jameis Winston. Is that in a set? No, that's not in a set. Uh, you always got to take a look at those 72 or higher cards, around 74. Dominic Easley, Jermon Bushrod, Heath Miller. We got Arthur Lynch. We got a TJ Ward. Let's go. 85 overall elite player. Calvin Benjamin, nice gold card to get. John Abraham, Brian Robeson, and Brandon Schreff. So not a bad X-Factor pack. Pretty much like a game changer pack, except it kind of guarantees you an elite badge, which is cheese. As you guys seen, the elite badges are going down to around 20k, so now is the time to buy those. Next X-Factor pack, we get a Drew Brees. Let's go. Nice to see these elites popping out. Antonio Allen, no Sean Moreno, Delaney Walker, my boy, Jonathan Massaqua, Frosty Rucker, Peros Harrelson, Nick Fairley. There's our guaranteed elite badge. George Iloka. Let's go. One of the best safeties in the game. Clint Bowling, Eric Berry, Sam Bradford, and Ty Von Branch. Get a pair of Chief safeties right there. So that was a pretty cool pack. We got two more of these bad boys to go, though. Looking for some more elite. Looking for more red paint. We got Geno Smith, John Sullivan, Michael Bennett, Mario Addison, Chris Craig, Ramon Foster, Courtney Upshaw, Brandon Graham. Can we get another elite, baby? Come on, Benjamin Watson, Mike Williams, David DeCastro, Brian Cushing, and our guaranteed elite badge. So no red paint in there besides our guaranteed one. Hopefully we can get another one, though. This is kind of a big bundle to open. I just want to do it for you guys. I've never seen X-Factor packs in the game. Eric Fisher, Robert Servin, Mike Mitchell. We got a Tavon Austin, Chris Johnson. Come on, let's get some red paint. There's our guaranteed elite. And we finish off with a Brandon Boykin. So overall, we kind of got, eh, I don't know if it was worth it, but it was fun to open for sure. We still got the topper to go. Uh, we did get Drew Brees. We got George Iloka, uh, TJ Ward. We got a legend badge out of the topper here. A Shannon Sharp, week 12. And another legend badge. So overall, it's not the worst bundle of all time. It's not the absolute best that's probably out there. I'm sure someone pulled just absolute fire out of every single pack. But it definitely could have been a lot worse. We, we still have a little bit of coins left over here. A little bit of points left over to pull some more pro packs. Uh, a lot of people are probably wondering why my team is only 85 overall right now. Oh, look at that. Jeff Allen. So we actually get a rare gold here. It uh, goes into the Chiefs captain set. Um, a lot of people are probably wondering why my coins are so high and why my team is lower overall. Uh, I will actually discuss that in Market Monday coming up on Monday, of course. So be sure to check that out. Um, probably something you guys should probably think of doing because uh, I have a little bit of a theory going on here. I'm just going to rock with a pretty high overall budget team, cards that I can play really well with. Just for now, I'm sure uh, eventually later on I'm going to go ahead and buy some more cards back. But for now, I just sold off my entire team, and I'll tell you guys why coming up on monday so do not miss that but that's going to be the video guys if you did like it give it a like subscribe if you're new and i'll talk to you guys later peace hold up wait a minute let me get some pro pack in it do not go anywhere guys and if you guys understood that little reference there from friday 
Uh, I think it was um, Cat Williams. Just yeah. I went ahead and opened up a pro pack before I rendered out this video and take a look at who we pulled, guys. Henry Hydnoski, 84 overall, going for about 160k. Just wow. Extremely expensive card. I have no idea how in the world I pulled that. I was watching the Buckeyes game, decided to pull one random pack, and there we go. Now the video is officially over. Give it a like for Henry Hynoski, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.